What's up YouTube, this is Donald of Zephyr Wargames or the Shy Pianist here bringing you a Zodiac Link Ready deck profile. Now honestly, um, not much has changed with Zodiac other than you just have to have uh, Gofu to get your Deco Talker and uh, everything else then falls into place of what sort of cards you wish to play. So, as I'll go through the deck I'll like mention which cards and uh, which things uh, you can tech or can't or probably not advised to do. So starting off you have your leader of the pack, to your double wrap here. He still makes your plays, he still makes um, he still makes a board for you just by himself. You can end with a Dryden and a uh, rank four of your choosing. Uh, personal choice I go with uh, is Emerald, uh, just so that you can recycle the Zodiac extra deck monsters that you've used to turn, um, and you get the draw one. Uh, for, all you for all you out there who probably don't know Zodiac, but you know, I'll, I'll go over the effects. Uh, so Rapier, when he's normal summoned, you send one Zodiac card from your deck to the graveyard, and uh, if it is a material, the XYZ monster has the ability to detach a material and special summon one map pure from your hand or deck. So you pretty much um, just get out another map pure and um, go off there. Next, running at three, uh, three Zodiac Fire Blades. Um, so here's your beat stick for the Zodiacs. His effect, um, you T uh, ditch one Zodiac card, draw one card, and if it's a material, the XYZ monster gains the ability to pierce. With 16 attack and of defense, so ideally you put them as the, the beat stick of, for your uh, Zodiacs. Next we have, of course, the free Whip Tail. Lovely card. Um, it's a fact you can attach it from your hand or side of the field during either player's turn to an XYZ monster you control a uh, beast warrior type, note it. <laughs> and if it's a uh, material, you can, uh, if the XYZ monster battles an opponent's monster, after damage calculation, banish that opponent's monster. So it's very powerful, seeing as you can attack with it and then attach to an XYZ monster. It's pretty standard, really. Uh, not much is said on that. Uh, I still play. Um, I've dropped down the Bunny Blast and Calderous to one each. Um, in game testing, I found myself um, siding these two out, but in times, Calderous has been needed because today I played against uh, Dale and his uh, Light Swans, and I kind of needed Calderous to stop those uh, min uh, Fairy Tale Snow targeting Book of Moon plays. <laughs> so I kind of needed them. Bunny Blast is only there if you. If you if the opponent plays Chalice, but allowing you to recycle. Um, but mainly, the reason why they're in here is to um, increase your chances of acquiring a Zodiac card uh, from your deck to hand. Um, today, I lost one of my games because I didn't see any Zodiac monsters in my opening hand. And that was a bit annoying. And last but least, still, I still play two Ram Ram. It's very nice to have. Um, uh, at two because you either you send it with your rapier, but if he's in your hand, um, at least you have another one in deck. Um, you can uh, basically it's f uh, effect. Um, actually, I've got to cover the effects, but basically these three, um, if they're as a material uh, and the monster is targeted by effect, this is for trap cards and effects. Spell cards in effects and monster cards in effects. If they're destroyed by battle or by card effect uh, and sent to your graveyard, this one adds a zodiac card from your graveyard's hand. This one shuffles a zodiac card back into your deck, and this one revives a zodiac monster from your grave. So these are like the three. But I play double ram ram because he's important for the play uh, of rapier, and that's pretty much it. Rest of the monsters. Well, most of the monsters definitely you have to have free go throughs. This is a one card uh, deco talker, which gives you a two extra deck monster zones. So going first, having go through and the rapier, you can still make the play. You end with your deco talker, your dryden, and your rank four. 
that's pretty standard that you just got to have go through. And that's pretty much for the monsters. Uh, the mo rest of the monsters that you will see is purely for um, your own personal preference because I'll explain that after. So, running in spells, have to have the triple barrage. Let's see, let's get that out. So, triple barrage. Uh, target it's fair, target one face up card you control, destroy it, and then if you do, you special summon one zoo that monster from your deck. If this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can then reattach it to a Zodiac XYZ monster you control as a XYZ material. So, fairly standard, um, very nice to have and sets you off uh, plays. But note that if you kind of go with Barrage first into Rapia, you're gonna need to compensate for your Ram Ram. If not, if you don't have Ram Ram in the grave, you can end with a Dryden and a Hammer Kong with the material uh, during your opponent's turn. But it also counts on the fact whether you need to have a Decode Talker on the field. Okay, so next we have Triple Tanky. When activated, you add a level 4 lower Beast Warrior. Searches out your ramp, so all of that. Uh, I do play Double Tensu. Um, there are times that where I've opened up a Zodiac and a Tensu, so I'll summon the ram, uh, summon the Zodiac, make uh, ball bow, uh, broad ball, sorry, broad ball, uh, detach to search a rat and uh, extra normal summon. So, uh, in some cases for Link, you can uh, use the broad ball to uh, um, to go further. But with the Rapier, you have to sort of work your way around it, sadly, is the case. Okay, next uh, spells, I have the two Twin Twister for back row destruction, and the one Raigeki. So that rounds up the spells for uh, the sp spells. And for traps, I personally played the one Java Avarus and the one Combo. This allows you to recycle anything and your graveyard back into your deck. And combo allows you to reattach, or if um, you don't have uh, targets to send, if you have a Ram Ram in grave, you can send a combo um, with Rapier. Combo basically is a Jar of Avarice, but for five different Zodiacs, and you banish it. So you essentially, these both recycle five back in and draw one. Now, for the rest of the cards, these are personally, um, well, to be fair, including the traps as well. Uh, kind of like personal preference attack um, because I previously uh, just tried out yesterday the Predator Plant Engine, the Brilliant Fusion Engine and three Lone Fires and a uh, Scrap Goblin. This would end you a board if you opened up with a... Um, if you opened up with the, just the one Lone Fire um, you end with a, a, an Emerald, a Mega, a Dryden, and an MX Saber Invoker. Now with Lynx, um, well, oh, so I've got my Invoker, oh well. Uh, so basically with Lynx now, that kind of, kind of throws it out of the window as we do not have um, Minus Radiant yet. Otherwise, um, Invoker will give you that Minus Radiant play. Uh, I did rely on Teratop to play this play, but as Teratop is hit to one, you're kind of better off trying to go with the Gofu play instead. So, other techs I put into the deck, now that I've taken those out, um, I play the two uh, just Kaijus. Um, this is personally one Gamasil, one Kamongus. This is uh, for the fact that in my side deck, I have uh, the two Slumbers and two, uh, one Thunder King Kaiju and the Jizukiru uh, Kaiju. So it's great to have that inside. Um, the one Maxi, just, uh, just one Maxi, yeah, it's still good. Two Ghost Ogre, it's still very effective in, um, even in Lynx. Uh, yeah, not much to be said other than, other than that. Chalice is great for going first or second. Uh, negating effects or gaining the attack is nice to have. Uh, I do run to my body as a shield because Zodiac, you're a turn one deck. You set up a board 
and if they just Raigeki you or Darkhold or Slumber you, this is always nice to have in case, just in the deck. Uh, book of, one Book of Moon for, because it's uh, just great, um, going first or second. In link format, this is sometimes can be crucial as to stop your opponent link summoning as they may require certain monsters on the field, but you book of moon it, they technically can't um, link summon with the face down monster and um, it's not like uh, fusion summoning where they are sent to grave uh, to then fusion summon by a card effect, uh, link summons is pretty much like synchro summoning so book of mooning, the, probably the one card or one monster how many other monsters they have on field Depending on the situation, um, you can Book of Moon. Uh, in this case, uh, it's most likely going to be either the Gofu uh, or the one effect monster which is required for Deco Dogra. And last but not least, I run the one song warning, song strike. Turn one deck is always nice to have. So, this is what I mean by this is kind of like your own personal tech. Zodiacs have gone to a point where you know, there's no Norden plays, so you have to be creative. Be creative, choose what tech card you want to have. In Link Format, um, the only tech card that you have kind of really want to have to play is the Gofu. But everything else is just personal preference. Like, yeah. Uh, aside, probably aside from the ratios of the monsters, you can bump up, you take out Bunny Blast, take out um, Cattle Roost out. As I said, yeah, it's just what you choose. I also had playing today instead of the three go throughs, uh, but you know, Dimensional Barriers and Torrential Tribute. That's pretty much standard with the deck. You just, you can still play to the deck as it is. You just need to have the ways out to um, make your deco talker. That's where uh, Gofu comes in with um, making your deco talker. So first off, links, undoubtedly. Just with Gofu alone, um, you can let's use your double link. You have to use double link spider and a deco talker. Now in Zodiac, your turn one play, you can recycle these back in. Well, the link spiders anyway. You could choose to put a second deco talker uh, if you so wish to. Um, I personally would just keep it the one. So, you, because the rest of the extra deck I'll show you uh, now. So, first off, I do play one of each. So, one Dryden, one Broad Ball, one Broad Bow, uh, let's see, one Tiger Mortar, one Tracker Nine and one Hammer Kong because uh, you're mo you're, for the most part you're going to be using five of them for your standard Zodiac play so for those of you out there uh, Dryden basically pops destroys one face up card during either player's turn Broad Ball searches one Beast Warrior that can be null summoned the set Ball Bow can attack directly uh, and also, if you have the funny gimmick with it is uh, if it has 12 overlay units and it deals damage, you send all cards in your opponent's hand and field to graveyard and then switch it to defense position. Tiger Mortar is your reattacher, so she targets one Zodiac and one XYZ you control. But I know, the... I know, but it's for those who, you know, may not. They just want to know link combos and link plays and can it be done in link. Track line revives from grave, but it can't be used as a material or uh, effects on the gate on field, and Hammer Con protects your other Zodiacs. So that's one of each. Um, I do play uh, filling up for the rest of the extra deck. Um, more copies, but of uh, Dryden and Brawl. But let's just fill this out. I do play two emeralds. This is so that you can recycle in the event your first emerald gets, re uh, gets destroyed. You can recycle uh, samurai for games. Uh, it can OTK. Uh, and you can push for plays, and should, should it come to. Uh, as I said, one extra droid and extra broad ball, and the fifth spot can be any of the Zodiacs, or even if you wish to, a second deco talker. Um, so wish. Don't forget to uh, comment, like, and subscribe to our channel. Please uh, check out our Facebook page. Uh, link will be in the description down below. 
And as always guys, happy doodling! If you like that video, why not check out our other videos available. We've got more deck profiles, pack openings and of course duels. And don't forget to click on the most important button of all, that subscribe button right in the bottom left hand corner.